easy table assembly. Okay, the kit includes a wooden uh, reinforcement plate to go on the back side of where you mount this bracket. And it comes with two plastic shims that you can use to make sure that the table A, the table is plumb and level, so you can adjust it to your mounting surface. Okay, this is the basic set of tools you'll need to install this table. Mainly a drill, a large Phillips screwdriver, 13 millimeter socket or wrench, um, a square if you want to make sure it's good and level you could eyeball it if you don't have that, and then some drill bits, tape measure, pencil. Okay so the way this table is set up we're going to use it mounted in the highest possible location on the bed base, the fiberglass bed base, and and that, that way we have plenty of height here, but when we go to lower it down, it's not going to go down low enough to turn back into a bed. So in order to make this back into a bed, you would have to take it off and set the piece down in there, the tabletop. So we do have the, in, the Casita Independence, which can be used as twin beds or a king size bed, but we always use it as the twin size beds. So even though we're putting in the Lagoon Table system, you can still convert it to the king size bed if you desire. We're going to mount the base plate to the front of the bed base face. Also we decided we're just going to center it in this area. Um, for your application you could put it off to one side or the other if it worked better for you. For our application we want to get this plate, base plate, as high as we can on the front of the bed. Um, the only problem is it comes with this wooden reinforcement that goes on the back side. So we're going to have to trim a little bit off of the top of this. Otherwise we'd have to put this lower than I like. Okay, so after I got the top tight enough to hold this in place, I went down to the opposite corner to drill it through after this is squared with the bench. The reason I went down to this corner is so I could move, rotate the wooden backing plate out of the way so I didn't make any extra holes in it. I, I used a uh, adjustable square to square it up from the top of the seat base.
So I'm pre-drilling for a pilot hole for these screws to help keep the wood from splitting, make it easier to get the screws in. You um, just have to be careful not to drill all the way through the tabletop. Make a very shallow hole. Okay, the table's a little wobbly, so um, probably have to do some other modifications later, but for now I'm going to add an extra screw at the bottom of the floor trim. That way I can hold the fiberglass to the wood framing tighter. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button.